Hello watchers and dear subscribers, this is again Shrakes from Smartherd. Welcome back to part 21 tutorial on how to make your Android application. Now in this video, we are going to add the selector to our button in our questions.xml. Now here in the last video, we designed the graphics and the layout structure of our application Android interview questions.xml, right? Now in this video, we are going to add the selector to this button. Now guys, if you are watching this tutorial directly, then I will suggest please go back and check out my tutorial number 41 and 42 where I described selectors in details. Now our first step is to create a new XML file, right? Let's name it as a underscore a underscore button. Now just scroll down here is a selector just select it, hit finish. Now here our a underscore button dot XML has been created inside it we are having a selector tag. Now let's do one thing open this button custom dot XML that we created for our front page dot XML right now just copy these two codes control C and paste it inside the selector right by default our image is now button background default. Now this was the button that we used for the front page dot XML. Now let us do one thing change it to default underscore A and when the button is pressed then it is going to show display a image which I have stored here. That image name is actually pressed underscore A. Fine. Now save it. Now let's check out what how the default underscore A image looks like. Now this is our default underscore image right by default our button will look like this and when the user press it then our image will be converted into this beautiful A. Now let us go to questions.xml. Now here let us check the code of this button. Now here let us add an attribute background add the drawable right. Now here we have to define what a underscore button right now let's check now let's save it and check our graphical layout. Now our layout designing is completed it is looking pretty awesome with a button at the downside now when user is going to press this button then it is going to display some other image now we have achieved this with the help of the selectors in Android. Now guys one more point you can note here. It is not necessary that the selectors are only used with buttons. So far we have used selectors in case of buttons. But in case of radio buttons, linear layout, text view or whatever other stuffs, whatever other views or view groups you are having, you can use selectors in all such cases. The use of selectors is not at all confined to only a button. You can use it wherever you want to. Fine. Now guys in the next video I am going to create this layout of questions.xml for multiple devices. How you can make compatible with all other devices I will just show you in brief in the next video because in details because we have already seen it how to make your application compatible with all other devices with various screen densities in details when we discussed about the layout of front page.xml. So I am just going to brief you in the next video how we are going to do it right. So thanks for watching guys. Meanwhile if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel and please support us in a way you can. Please comment, like and share our video. This is Shrakes from Smartheart signing off and thank you and have a good day.